Before the WCC Basketball Championship started, Gina Johnson's words were very similar to the ones spoken by many players this time of year. I'm really excited and I feel like um, we have a chance to win it and I feel like we can go really far, so it's, it's a really exciting experience. It didn't work out for Pacific, but the fact that Johnson was able to play in the tournament at all is what makes these words so incredible. On June 28, 2013, she was driving near Dixon, California, when she was involved in a horrific head-on collision. I remember going down um, California 10, and the next thing you know, I see a tractor, but behind the tractor, there's this truck. When we hit, um, all the glass around us um, broke, so I turned my wheel just enough for all the glass and everything to miss my face. I never went unconscious. I remember getting airlifted um, to UC Davis Hospital. While Johnson was undergoing emergency treatments at the hospital, her team was finding out that one of their own was in serious condition. I woke up and looked at my phone and I had literally about 29 missed calls. And I thought, oh my goodness, and about 10 of them are from Gina's mother. So I drove from Aptos to UC Davis. I really didn't know what I was gonna find. Um, I didn't know if she was gonna make it. I didn't know um, if she was gonna be able to walk again, if she was gonna be the same. So when I got there though, she was, unrecognizable to be honest with you. I immediately started crying. I, it was overwhelming. I couldn't believe that. It's kind of like for me personally the first person in my life to ever go through something like that and I think um, knowing that we could have I could have lost one of my best friends and not have even expected it or seen it coming uh, was, was really really scary feeling. Johnson had broken bones in her ankles, legs, hips, jaw and arm. She spent two full weeks in the hospital before she was released, and her immediate focus was on getting back to the game that she loves. Being in the ICU room for about four days, that's literally everything. Basketball was literally on my mind. And then once I started realizing how serious my injuries were, then that's when I was like, what if, like, I don't know if I can do it. And all the support, like I said, and, um, that's surrounded by me, like kept motivated and focused off that part and just doing it not just for myself, but the people around me. I think we had to hope that she was gonna be able to play. Um, Gina lives for basketball, that was her identity, it's who she was. And I think we had to just say, you're gonna make it back. And I don't know that any of us really knew um, if that was gonna be probable or realistic. Your mindset kind of changes into, okay, now what do we need to do to make Gina Gina again? Like, you know, what do we, I want my friend back and I want, I'm, I'm happy she's here, but I want to have all of her here. Before she could think about playing, Johnson had to learn how to walk again. She taught herself to write with her opposite hand so she could still go to class, and at first she got around campus with a wheelchair, then a walker, and then a cane. And then, on November 8, 2014, just over 16 months after the accident, Johnson returned to the court for her senior season with the Tigers in an exhibition game against San Francisco State. Just the standing ovation that I got and everybody's faces and how happy they were to see me and for me to make that first layup coming back, it was, it was the most surreal experience that I, I can't even explain how it made me feel inside, but to see that and to see how happy it made everybody was really, 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 really really best. 12 months before she was literally in a wheelchair and 12 months later she was playing Division One basketball. I mean that's amazing. Um, all the bones that she broke, all the surgery she's had, um, all the rehab, the hours and hours and hours and hours of rehab. I was so proud of her. Due to her injuries, Johnson will likely never be the same basketball player she once was, but she has proved to be an inspiration to everyone who has heard her story. When you have a bad day and things aren't going your way and you kind of realize the pettiness of some of your personal problems, you kind of just look at Gina and you're like, oh, yeah, my life's not that bad. I got it good. Like, everything's going to end up being okay at the end of the day. Now that I'm starting to realize how grateful and how God has really blessed me, I really have I, I have seen, now that I look back, how great of an opportunity that I have had. And even if I didn't even play basketball again, me being able to do this rehab and be surrounded by um, the Pacific family has been really, really amazing. For the West Coast Conference, I'm Amanda Blackwell.